Good morning, everyone. We're going to start our practice, just our morning practice, beginning the day. So just making yourself comfortable, sitting upright, sitting well connected so the feet are well on the ground. If you're sitting on a chair, if you're sitting on a cushion or on the floor, allowing the, the base of your body to connect with the ground. Allowing the back to be upright, shoulders releasing away from the ears. Head comfortably resting on top of your neck. And the eyes can be either closed, softly closed or gazing downwards softly, maybe towards a particular point like a candle. And I will ring my bell now to begin our morning meditation practice here together. The sound of the bell and invitation to be still for a moment. I'm sure we all have plans and things we need to do or we want to do. But before all that, allowing ourselves a moment of stillness. A moment of presence. To settle the mind, you can always take a few deeper breaths in and out. If you're really filling the lungs to capacity, like a gift, that filling of the body with breath and a long breath out, maybe even with a, with a sigh, maybe breathing out with this sense of letting go. You woke up, or if maybe the day ahead of you, you're finding it challenging to face into. Maybe with that breath out, trusting. It's okay. I'm allowed to feel that. Maybe you woke up with anticipation and smile, seeing the sunshine and whatever might be ahead of you. Maybe there's gratitude. But then eventually letting the, the boss settle again.
turning our awareness for a moment outwards to our surroundings, the space, getting a sense of the space you're sitting in, your room. Maybe we can also just see ourselves together here as a group practicing together in real time. Maybe that will also help you for support. And then sounds. Noticing the sounds. That what the sounds might be, it might be nature sounds, birds. It might be artificial sounds, man-made sounds, cars. Either way, just acknowledging the sounds around you. And also sounds around us can help us to locate ourselves in space and time. And of course, sometimes we can get carried away with the sounds, we can perhaps lose ourselves in sounds, which is, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. If that's sometimes nice too, but for our practice here, reminding ourselves still of, you know, uh, being present. If we get carried off with a memory that the sound might trigger in our minds, or maybe sometimes it's even a feeling that might be triggered, we can, Acknowledge that and then just going back to just listening. Honing our skill of listening without judging, without necessarily interpretation. And then gradually turning more inwards awareness of your body here, of your posture, just a general sense of the way you have positioned yourself, how that feels, the connection with your chair, connection with or with a stool, if you're sitting on a stool or on a cushion, the connection with the with the ground. And for a moment really staying with that particular experience of connection with the support you're having from the ground, from your stool, chair or cushion. Perhaps feeling the pull of the earth, pull of gravity. Are we completely surrendering to it or are we somehow resisting a little bit? How does it feel right now? Can I let myself be fully supported?
So for another moment, really staying with that connection, body and ground or whatever is supporting you. And of course, images can help. Maybe the image of a tree, of a big tree. Maybe quite an old tree, one that has been here for a while. It's gone through all the seasons and storms and dry periods and wet periods. It's still standing. I'm sure we all have seen trees in quite amazing places where you ask yourself, how can that tree still be standing up there, maybe high on a cliff with the earth, the ground eroding away and it still clings on. Somehow it's still standing. So perhaps visualizing, maybe you have a particular tree, maybe you're in your rounds as we explore our 2K radius around us. Maybe there is a tree you have noticed and particularly now with the leaves coming out and changing quite rapidly actually, the, um, how the, uh, the trees change. So maybe you know a tree. Or maybe you can make a point of looking for one today when you go out. And the roots growing down. And ourself here, so that image of a tree can be helpful sometimes to, we don't have obvious roots. And we do move, obviously a tree is more static, we, we move around, but we're still, you know, subject to the same physics, gravity. So in the best way you can, really connecting with that, maybe sense of stability that we can perhaps get from pull of gravity or our connection with, with the earth. You might imagine your feet being the roots now or your buttocks or your thighs. And not just straight down, also reaching out to the side. Maybe in times of distress or challenging or uncertainty, we do have to reach out. We might have to, like a tree that clings on to the cliff's edge, we, you know, we have to be quite uh, more open and reach out in other directions finding something to hold on to that can let us go through another day. So the supports we might look for or draw strength from or stability from so those roots spreading out, and there's nothing wrong with that. Asking for support is not weakness. Needing that feeling of needing perhaps support is not weakness. We all need support.
So here, sitting here with our roots, stretching out, anchoring ourselves into the earth. And there's a basic principle that in order to thrive, in order to grow, in order to, to maybe live our purpose, we, we, the first thing we need is to have a sense of support, to have a base. It's like a house. If the foundations are not there, or if they're very kind of wobbly, the house will not be very secure. So the same principle for, for us that we do, first of all, we need to um, feel security, support. That's why it's so important that when people don't have homes, it's expecting them to function in a normal way is, um, it's not possible. You know, we all need a home or something to that we can call, that we can go home to or feel secure about. We all need food. We all need to know where food probably comes from. We need water. And of course we need, um, we need others. We need acknowledgement, love, so all those very basic needs. And sometimes we might not be able to get it from the outside. So at the moment we are quite restricted in some ways. So can we find it? Can we draw on our own way of getting support? And sometimes when we come to sit for the practice, maybe that's something to you know, connect with. That's, sitting here, drawing support. And then from that base, from that support, allowing your awareness to move upwards to the trunk. So if you continue with that image of the tree, the trunk that is now reaching upwards, not every tree is absolutely straight. And it would be quite boring if we had only straight trees in our, in our life to look at. It's the, the fascination of all the different shapes. So we're all different shapes. Some are straight, sometimes not. So maybe just even imagining whatever tree you are at this moment with your trunk reaching up. So with that stable base, the, the trunk can reach upwards. Maybe we can allow ourselves to feel more open, more expansive, reaching up. The arms can be our branches. The head can be our crown. reaching up for the light, for the warmth. And when we do feel secure and steady on the base, it can be adventurous a little bit. We know we're not gonna topple over very quickly, even if sometimes we might you know, go a little bit in directions that maybe we shouldn't have. What's okay, we can always come back. We're not gonna be toppled over that cliff. We have, we have spread our roots in very creative ways. So sitting here,
Maybe that sense of openness, expansiveness. Maybe even with a half smile on our face. Admiring the view. Soaking up the light. With that growing and expanding, there's always, of course, optimism and hope. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't grow. There's no point. There's no hope. And you might see yourself maybe as a tree on its own, or you might see yourself as part of a group of trees or even a big forest. And in the forest, those roots are probably almost very much intertwined. The branches are reaching into each other's crown or tree. Maybe we can see ourselves here as part of the whole. Even if you're a tree by yourself, probably isn't too far for the next tree somewhere. And I read this amazing book, I think it's called uh, Secret Life of Trees or Hidden Life of Trees. So there's two books actually. And um, it's amazing how they do communicate. So the root system, so chemicals they produce in their leaves. So um, maybe in that way, there's, um, there's communication. So just sitting here for another moment in stillness till I ring the bell to complete our morning reflection. If you want, you can also finish the practice by going back to your breath, connecting with your breath. Perhaps reflecting of where you can get support. Or you can spread your roots. What is important for you today? Something you might want to bring into your day. Maybe you're going to look for a tree. Maybe you're going to reach out to somebody or somebody might have reached out to you and you might decide I'm going to come back to them. And then if you haven't already, perhaps do come to the breath for another moment. It can be helpful sometimes to have the hands on the trunk, maybe the, the abdomen or one hand on the heart, the other one on the abdomen. So that's also connecting with yourself physically in that way. So we're not just reaching out the roots outside, so also inwards.
to me you all have a good day so well, that might be a chance to enjoy the good weather which is a blessing really in all this in whatever way you can okay so i'm gonna unmute you if you want to say something or you can just go on and enjoy the rest of your day